Okay, and welcome back. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, some stuff we did in the other tutorial. As in, uh, we used CrazyBum to export a normal and a diffuse file in the TGA file format. And we're going to, um, or actually in this tutorial, we're going to import them into the UDK and put them into a shader network. So, first of all, I'm going to start up the UDK. Okay. There we go. So, okay, this is um, your content browser and your viewports. And I already had um, a level pre made. There we go. And all I have in here are some PSPs, some walls, a light, and the yellow thingy you see here is a light mass importance volume that makes sure that all the light that's inside of this volume gets uh, priority so actually the uh, light mass concentrates all of its calculation power inside of this small volume you don't have to add it, it just um, speeds up the building process a bit okay now I already had uh, have a package Let's fully load it I call it tutorial and I made a sub map in it called uh, textures and go to import and there we go. come on and I save my textures on my desktop and the tutorial file and I'm just going to select both of them and open now you get a new window and that says tutorial or your package is tutorial that's correct you want them in textures, that's also correct. And the name Tilywood Color is also great. Then you would say OK. It's importing. And then you get the next one that's Tilywood Normal. Now the normal uh, you have to use a different compression setting, TC normal map. You can select that here from compression setting and put it TC normal. It's usually TC default. I prefer using TC normal. It say it's saves it in or compresses it a bit differently it's better then ok and there we go now we have both the diffuse and the normal the normal looks very bland in here but trust me when you open the material come on there we go ok anyway um, I'm going to delete this material I'm not going to use it. I'm going to create a new one. Just right click, uh, select new material, and you're going to save it in tutorial package. And we're going to call that group um, material. And the name will be wood. Okay, there we go. You would get this new pop up if you don't get it. Um, you can just go back to material where you saved it, double click it and you should get it. If it's not there, it could be here, minimized. Just click this one and there you go, you have it again. Well, let's make it a bit bigger so we can actually see what's going on. Okay, um, this is the material editor uh, and also the shader network. Uh, in here you can use any texture, make any texture. Um, well, it's a very powerful shader. The controls for moving around, right mouse button, click, you can drag the scene around, left mouse button does the same, scroll, you can zoom in and out, and well, that's about it. We're going to go to texture, texture sample, drag it in. Because I already had the texture selected in the content browser, it automatically applies in the texture sample I used. Oh, um, if you want to drag or move a texture sample or any other thing, let's say uh, this one, a param parameter sub UV, just I'm going to delete that again, it's useless. Just hold control or control, left mouse button, and drag it around. You can actually zoom out quite a bit, you can drag it to any location you want. I'm just going to leave it a bit in the neighborhood. 
not going to make that big of a shader network. Okay, just repeat the previous step. Uh, make a new texture sample for the normal. Then go to Content Browser, select the normal map. Um, go back to your material editor, select the texture sample you want. Right click it and say use cu current uh, texture. And we'll automatically or not. I doesn't want to, okay. In that case I'll just delete it and there we go. Sometimes UDK can be a bit of a well annoying or has a mind of its own. But just try again, delete it, remove it, whatever, maybe even restart it and it works. Okay. Now we're just going to select this black uh, upper area and hook it up to the normal. Just click it and then drag it to the normal. We do the same for the diffuse and there we go. There's our diffuse. UDK also gives a preview render. You can use a ball, cube, cylinder. Usually it's a ball. Okay, now we have our shader. Now we have to apply changes and save it. There we go. And then you go to tutorial or to the map you just made and save it. So, there we go. Now we're ready to actually apply this material yes, to the world. And it's quite easy. Just go to material, select the material ju you just created, hold of click and hold left mouse button and just drag it into the world. There we go. Let's have a look, shall we? And there we go. Okay, the lighting is a bit funny because the lights actually need to be rebuilt. Let's do that, shall we? I'm going to build geometry. There we go. That looks totally awful. Here, I'll show you. Utterly and totally awful. Now, I'm going to build lights, build lighting. Um, use light mass. I suggest you use it. It gives way better results than the old. Uh, Unreal light engine and just use preview production is absolutely unnecessary for this I don't need that close close okay there we go and that's already looking a bit better but still it's upwards plus if I get very close to it you can see all kinds of pixelated well, from this distance it looks good, but when you get very close to it, it, it tends to just get ugly. And there's a very easy way how you can uh, increase the texture density. And that's by tiling it. And when you do that, you get a texture coordinate. Hook it up to the texture and up to the normal. Now, it doesn't do anything at the moment. And you won't see any diff um, won't see any changes take place. But what the texture coordinate does is um, actually duplicates, if you would, or triplicate, if the word exists in English, the texture. So if you would say U tiling, um, let's say that to three. Wait, I'll put it on a square. You can see it looks very strange. I would put V tiling also at three. There we go. Now you can see that's tiling. Now it uses the same texture uh, three times in the same volume. So what you do is actually increase the amount of texture you have in a certain space to apply. Three times might be a bit much, but let's see how that works in the... Well, that already looks a bit better, but now the tiling, now you get very close to it. You can get very close to it, actually, without 
distorting too much. Plus, oh, frame lag. And from a distance, it still looks good. Next tutorial, I'm going to go a bit deeper into this subject and I'll show you some neat features how you can actually turn the texture. So, hope to see you then.